to this. Yo, what is poppin' YouTube? It is your boy B here bringing you guys another video. Today, I got an OP class set up for you guys. Man, this gameplay goes crazy. And I mean crazy because I'm cheesing. <laughs> I'm just I'm just telling y'all that I'm cheesing like a motherfucker in this video. Alright. So before we get started, please hit that like button, hit that sub button, definitely comment down below. Go ahead and follow all my social medias at your boy BYT. You'll see it, it'll first pop up because I'm the only one with that name because I'm unique, nigga. Anyway, <laughs> sorry for my language, but let's go ahead and get into it right now. So the class setup I am using here, I have the P9725 combo, man. Oh my god. If you guys have ran into the shotgun, you guys know. Y'all know. I ain't even gotta say nothing. Y'all know if y'all ran into this shotgun or if you've used this shotgun, y'all know. Alright, you guys know. This shotgun is absolutely crazy. This shotgun's a beast. This P90 is a beast. This is so overpowered together, especially on the smaller maps. Oh man, like huh, you got a problem if you run into this on the smaller maps. And let me let me tell you that right now, you got a motherfucking problem. So, now for the do, let's get straight into my attachments and everything. So, I'm using the P90 here with the muzzle brake because that's gonna give me recoil stabilization. I am gonna lose out on some ADS speed as well as aim stability, but. It's a submachine gun, so it's gonna aim down its sights fast regardless. So we're gonna be good on that. The barrel I'm also using, I'm using the Forge Tack Retribution Barrel. It has damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. I do lose ADS and movement speed again, but like I said, it's a submachine gun. It's gonna aim down its sights fast regardless, unless you completely just do away with the ADS, all right? Which I'm not doing here. Next, I'm using the stock, which is gonna give me sprint to fire speed, so it's gonna improve my ADS. I do not have the heavy stock, but I don't want that. As you see, I'm gonna lose out on a ton of mobility. So um, I already knew I didn't want that anyway, so I just stuck with this. That's why I made this video with the P90, right? As well as the, eight, the aim down sight, uh, or aim walking movement speed, I'm sorry, uh, it does go back up. So like I said, it comp this stock compensates for losing out with the barrel and uh, muzzle ADS speed and all the other stuff. Now. Under barrel, I am using the stipple grip tape. This one, I didn't care too much about, like I said, so I stuck with this one, right? Um, recoil, uh, I get recoil control as well as aim and stability. Like I said, I do uh, lose out on that aim, walking movement speed as well as that aim down sight speed, which is fine. Like I said, it's a machine gun, it's gonna go up anyway. As you guys can see the cap right there of my mobility, everything I did was to keep sure that that mobility stays within that uh, cap range uh, as you guys can see that little white line I don't know if you guys can see it right there on the accuracy damage range fire rate mobility and control There's a little white line basically telling you what the base stats of it are I tried to keep the mobility at least at that base stat or just a little bit more as you guys can see my mobility is a little bit up um, I tried to keep it right there I tried to keep everything as green as possible or at least as close to that white line as possible because I didn't want to lose out too much on my mobility with this P90 because at the end of the day, I still wanted to be a P90, I still wanted to be a beast, I still wanted to be a submachine gun, right? But I still wanted it to be improved at the same time. So that's what it, exactly what I did here with this P90. This P90 is an absolute beast. The camo I'm using, I am using the Dragon tagged camouflage, you know? I think I might just go ahead and go for gold on this. I'm not sure yet, you know? Uh, because like right now, you can't really see your progress on stuff. So I don't know exactly how much I need, which kind of sucks. So whatever, right? Secondary weapon, man, this, let me tell you something, man. Shotguns in this game, <laughs> especially this one, this one is gonna catch the meanest nerf in Call of Duty history. I could already tell this shotgun is gonna catch a nerf, man, because this thing is insane, dude. Like people are literally sniping people across the map with this and it is just absolutely crazy. Um, The 725, man, look at the damage on this thing. The damage is already almost maxed out and I don't have every single attachment. My weapon's only level 14. This gun is absolutely insane. And like I said, for those of you who have ran on this, have ran against this gun, those of you who have ran, like have been run up on by this, this shotgun, man, <laughs> tell you something, it's, it's crazy. Now, I'm using a muzzle uh, flash guard. I don't really care too much about it being suppressed. I don't want to be super cheesy, um, you know, yeah. Then right here, I'm using an optic. I am using the precision type picture. Chris, I'll join your party after I'm done making these videos, man. I gotta get my subs these videos first. As well as using the Cronin Agro Precision. Ergo, sorry, Ergo, not Agro, Ergo. <laughs> it's the stock right here. I'm using FMJ. And I'm using the commando foregrip on this. Um, regardless of what attachments you really put on this, this thing's gonna be crazy if somebody runs up to you on close range, regardless. So, yeah, 
the shotgun's crazy. You guys are going to see it in this gameplay here. Overkill, so I could go ahead and get two primary weapons. Go, so I can stay off the map. And Amped, because I want to be able to swap to my shotgun fast, especially if I run out of ammo for my P90. You want to be able to swap fast and, uh, you know, hit that guy with that shotgun. Um, I usually use the P90 if I'm just running around the map. And then if I'm about to go into a building, I pull out this shotgun here. Next, I'm using the frag grenade as my lethal. And I'm using a stem for my tactical to go ahead and be able to heal fast. So that's basically the class setup here, guys. Um, please hit that like button, hit that sub button. Oh, kill streaks. I just run with the personal radar. I'm running with the care package and I'm running with the cruise missile. That's just because uh, these are my uh, usual kill streaks. That's just because, you know, I'm going for the care package challenge. I'm trying to do all this stuff right here. Um, and yeah, so uh, also my field upgrade, I'm using dead silence, but sometimes the roll with the munitions box. So I'll tell you guys what you need to know. Um, Hit that like button, hit that sub button, guys, if you enjoyed. Um, next video is going to be coming out. It's going to be the MP7 video. Appreciate everybody who watched this, man. Um, this class set is OP. Uh, just throw it on and you'll guys see. Anyway, I'll just know what your boy be, man. I'm out. <coughs> yeah, I was like, fuck. Oh god, he had a shotgun. Spider. They all left. Wow. Yeah, look what I do, boys. Alright, they're gonna leave again. I missed my shot. Wow. We didn't, dang, we didn't even get to finish our game because freaking people quit. Rip. Brandon, make sure your crossplay is off. It is. Get to carbine is nice. Do I have to turn mine off? No, it's Not just the host. GG's boys, GG's. I'ma hit it from the back, I'ma pull up on a nigga with